Hi, I'm Kelly Isaacson, Clinical Nutrition Coordinator of the IBD program at Cedar sinai in Los Angeles. And for today's IBD Journal Club, we will be talking about this article, which was recently published in the Nutrition and Clinical Practice Journal, entitled 12-Week Peptide-Based Formula Therapy May Be Effective in Inducing Remission of Active Crohn's Disease Among Women Who Are Pregnant or Preparing for Pregnancy. We know that IBD affects people during prime childbearing years, and per the European Crohn's and Colitis Organization, most drugs such as 5-ESAs, corticosteroids, thiopurines, and biologics are safe to take during pregnancy. However, some medications do pose a risk, and some women are concerned about risks to fetus. EEN, or exclusive enteral nutrition, has been shown to induce remission, but hasn't been evaluated during pregnancy. EEN is where a patient receives 100% of their nutrition needs from a formula with the exclusion of other foods and beverages except for water. EEN is thought to act through local and systemic immune modulation, modifying intestinal inflammation, barrier function, and the gut microbiome. And it's been shown to be an effective tool for inducing remission in Crohn's disease. Um, there is a positive evidence in ulcerative colitis and in the uh, pregnancy population. So the aim of this study was to evaluate the effectiveness of a peptide-based formula to induce clinical remission and active Crohn's disease in women during the phase of conception pregnancy. And this was measured by um, using the Crohn's disease activity index of less than 150 as determining remission at 12 weeks. This was a retrospective observational study of all pregnant women at a single IBD center in China who had a Crohn's disease flare and commenced EEN. Patients in the EEN group were provided formula, um, specifically enteral nutrition suspension, SP from Nutrition Pharmaceutical, and this was a peptide-based um, formula which was consumed orally or via nasogastric tube for 12 weeks. Patients did not receive any drugs except for antibiotics in those who had an abscess. Patients were interviewed regularly to assess compliance and symptom improvement. And these patients were compared to a non-EEN group, um, a group of women who were pregnant on a normal diet with um, standard IBD medications. This table shows the composition of the peptide-based enteral nutrition suspension. Here you'll see it was um, protein was 85% polypeptide and 15% amino acid. Carbohydrate source was maltodextrin. Fat source was soybean oil and coconut oil. The protein caloric composition was 16%, 69% from carbohydrates, 15% from fat and the osmolarity was about 440 milliosmoles per liter. There were some medium chain triglycerides um, um, as fat sources. The energy density was one calorie per milliliter and there was no fiber in these formulas. There were 15 patients in the EEN group. One used EEN as maintenance therapy and 14 used EEN to induce remission. Of those 14 patients, 85% achieved remission at 12 weeks with a decrease in CDAI from 198 to 106. Of the 12 who achieved remission, 10 went on to use EEN or partial enteral nutrition to maintain remission and the other two patients used azathioprine. CRP decreased from 18 to 2 and significant improvements were found in BMI increasing from 17 to 19 albumin, and hemoglobin. Remission was sustained throughout the second and third trimesters of pregnancy. There were eight patients in the non-EEN group, and they used drugs such as infleximab, thiopurine, and mesalamine for inducing and maintaining remission. There were no differences among baseline demographic and clinical characteristics between the two groups. All women in the study had successful live births, and there were no differences in newborn outcomes, pregnancy complications, or mode of delivery between the EEN and non-EEN group. 
So the authors concluded that a peptide-based formula therapy may provide an alternative treatment option to induce and maintain Crohn's disease remission in pregnant women with active Crohn's disease who are intolerant to Crohn's disease drugs, such as corticosteroids or anti-TNF alpha agents, and is safe to use throughout pregnancy. The limitations of the study include that it was small in number, it was from a single center, and it was open label. The strengths were that this is really the first study to show benefit of EEN during pregnancy in Crohn's disease flare. And we did also see a biological effect um, evident in improvement in biochemical markers such as CRP, albumin, and hemoglobin. So this is something to consider in your patients who are pregnant with an active Crohn's disease flare who are looking for nutrition therapy to help induce and maintain remission during pregnancy.